Tios, you upstanding and absolutely cutting edge channel here on Z Reviews and In Ear Fetish. What have you got for us today? I got two CD players. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I'm glad Patreon subscribe, start support this channel. Five dollars a month, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, lost the sound demos. Time. Um, why? Wait, it, there's a there's a trick. To, 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 oh, there it is. Why do I have CD players here? Um, because apparently this is now a thing. We've we've taken vinyl, we've taken records and turntables, and that sort of started making the cool comeback. And then it's like, well, a real true audiophile has always been that. Um, we literally skipped fucking cassettes because no one really wants to go back to the cassette days. All right, all right, Dolby noise reduction. I don't give a shit. Stop. Let's just see names back. CDs are everything. Everyone's back to CDs. So Linsoul sent me not one, but two CD players months ago. And you know why I haven't done the reviews till right now? I didn't have CDs. I didn't want to like buy a CD because that just feels wrong. I didn't want to burn a CD because that just feels lame. I had to wait till I had two actual CDs appear in my life and then I was able to do this. So I found this Tegan and Sarah heartthrob. I, I literally don't like any of the music on here. Don't judge me for it. Although it's not terrible. But anyway, I have this, which is an actual Warner Brothers like CD, like a, like a legit compact disc scratch to shit by the way which is pretty good because it's great for testing the mechanism and this is the shanling ec3 does anybody want to take a wild stab at the cost of the shanling i've got two things here shanling and this is the the one that does like the cone speaker and the, like the kind of lame stuff but it's the um this one is eighty dollars this one is $599. And there's a more expensive one that's the ET3 that's $730. And that's just a pure transport. There's no analog outputs. This one actually has analog. All right. So I don't, I've been running this channel for 10 years plus now, and I've never had to review a CD player. So we're going to tread this water as best we can. I'm currently wearing the 8XXs with the Dakoni big pads, which you should all fuck have bought them uh, using a non-standard cable because fuck that. I think this might be a periapt cable, actually. You know, I'm not 100% sure where this cable came from. I just know it's a godsend compared to the original. Um, and the reason I'm using these is because this Shanling, for $600, better have a fucking headphone out. It is only a 3.5 millimeter, so I'm adapting that to 4.4, and I'm adapting this XLR into the 4.4, and then into the 4.4 into the 3.5. Um, legitimately don't know where to begin. I do love this top. It reminds me of rice cookers in Japan. Like, that's, that's there's no other way to... It's got the little floating uh, centering mechanism, because this doesn't click in. This is meant to be used on a desk and you're supposed to like lay it in there and it'll auto center. Then you wiggle this around and you, you just put your little rice cooker top on it. And look, it spins up. It knows I put the top on it. It says there's 10 tracks totaling 36 minutes and 30 seconds. You get five top buttons, source select, which I, I understand that this is a great thing because you're like, hey, we're Shanley. We're gonna put a $600 CD player. And everyone goes, <laughs> and they're like, well, wait, it's also able of, of accepting Bluetooth signals, so it'll actually connect your phone to it and use its... I'm trying to not block her too much. Um, it launches a Bluetooth receiver. Okay, that's worth at least $50. And then it'll also do a USB host in the front. So if you just want to fill a USB key with shit and plug, plug it in the front, you can do that. So this thing is like retro as hell, except for the Bluetooth. Because I haven't had a, a, a USB key loaded with music in forever but i haven't had cds even in more forever so that's what you got your three sources when you hit it are cd usb you'll note there isn't a u disc found here mostly because i'd have to make one and i'm i can't be fucked um and then the bluetooth with the amazing animation by the way cool looking screen on the front of this i should take the camera if i had to show you so those are your that's it three sources 
Um, I'm going to focus on the CD because, I frankly, I don't think you're spending $600 to host a USB uh, thumb drive or to have a Bluetooth receiver. So CD it is. You got stop, you got play, pause, you got next, you got last track and next track. And this button with the little return is also for the menu to return. And let me tell you, I had to figure that shit out because I'm like in the menu, I'm like, I change the setting. It's like, well, back, 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 back. Oh, that one. Little round screen. Actually, who do they say made the screen? They, they look out very specific. We're not gonna look. If they send me the E T3, I'm just gonna give this the same review. Top loading Philips CD80 drive with a Sanyo HD 850 laser. So there's like, there's parts now. And then it uses an in Ingenic X2000 system platform, which is what the software is in there. I've never had anyone you know, do that. An Ampac module for Bluetooth. Again, I don't care who's doing the Bluetooth module unless it's like super lossless. And then a compact screen with a Motorola IPS panel. So there's a Motorola panel in there. I'm gonna take these off for a sec, for a split sec. I'll pull this off my head. So you can see it is, it's kind of very Morancy with that. You've got the digital volume knob. Now, currently, since the headphones are plugged in, we are adjusting the headphone volume. I have it on high gain, because if we double tap, or if we tap it, oh God, I just shut off Bluetooth. Go back, go back again. You tap this once, you get into the menu. You get your Bluetooth settings, your sync link. So the app, the Shandling app will work on this to control the CD player. I, either that, or it'll work with the USB stick. Either way, that, I don't feel like that's gonna be a thing people are doing. You get your playback settings, your system settings, and that's it. Playback settings are USB resume mode, USB gapless, USB replay gain, default volume settings, gain for the headphone out high and low, digital filters, which there's only two, linear, fast, rolling, and appetizing. It will change it, and we'll hold back. The channel balance, you can actually balance the channels. I, you know what, don't, don't quote me on this. That might actually work for the RCA outs as well. But let's look at the back of the unit. Play mode, which is a thing. CD play time, either counting up or counting down. And that's the end of that menu. And then the system settings are language, which this unit did not default to me in English. So I had to figure this out. But that little text box meant language, and I figured out English. And then I couldn't figure out back, and then I turned the unit off by mistake. Brightness of the screen, system update, which I'm assuming would use this because it's not Wi-Fi based. So a system up is gonna have to be something you physically put in it, unless it wants you to burn it to a CD, which would be fucking hilarious. Um, and then reset settings, and then the about screen, which tells you the serial number, the MAC address, and the version number. Back. Uh, back. Oh, we're done with the menu here. The Bluetooth settings here are Bluetooth on and off. And then you have the quality selection, but you also have search. So the functionality, hold on. Functionality of search means if this can search and has a screen, you could have a Bluetooth speaker over there or a set of speakers or edifiers or something that are waiting to be connected and you can search and then play your CDs on your Bluetooth device or take your Bluetooth device and connect it to this. This also does that for $80. Keep that in mind as we go along. Um, so let's return, 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 Bluetooth sync link, blah, 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 blah. It's a CD player. We hit play. That's how long it takes to spin up and play. Next track. We do get a remote. I was so glad I made sure I found the remote because I'm like, does it have a remote? Because I feel like you, you kind of need one with a CD player. Although this kind of feels like it's designed to be on a desk and touched by you, but either way. Um, I don't hate this remote. It feels 90s as fuck, but you know what? Modern SMSL remotes and top remotes bore the shit out of me. So I'll take a 90s remote any day of the week. We have three power buttons on top. So you have CD, which is this, then net, and then amp. So I don't know what the net would control. And frankly, I don't know what the amp would control. Is there a Shanling desktop amp that I'm not thinking of? Because they're mostly portables. I mean, there's the big, maybe it's the big thing. I don't know. Yeah, there's the big one with the screen that pops up. That's a Shanling, isn't it? But th th that didn't come with the remote. So why would this be, why would this remote come with this, but not that? That thing's more money. Then you have your play, pause, your stop. That says eject. See, so it just pops the fucking lid off. 
No, it's not going to do that, unfortunately. Repeat random. So if I, I guess I hit play. Yeah, I hit random and it has a shuffle icon now. So it'll just bounce between the 10 tracks. Um, you have an input volume. You have a, you know, I'm sorry, not an input volume. You have an input selector where you can go up and down through the things instead of having to cycle through. You got a dimmer, which just shuts the screen off in case you want the pure audio file listening experience. You get a mute. We'll get to the speakers in a second. So you got a mute for the headphone that doesn't mute the RCA outs or the line outs. No, wait, wait. okay. Finishing the volume, and then the volume up and down, which if I unplug this, unmute it, now my Har Harmonidine Eris Mark III's are blasting because I'm gonna pause the CD. The outputs in the back of this, and I'll take this off again, because this is so much easier. As you can see, you have power input. You have your Bluetooth module box here. You get two digital outputs. You get your fiber optic and coaxial digital, and you get a set of RCA outputs. So I'm using the coaxial digital output to this, the own nine uh, S9C reference DAC. So that's a digital output. It's acting as a transport. There's two things that exist. You didn't know this in the 80s when the CDs were popular, or I guess the early 90s, I guess most of the 90s too. Um, you could either have a CD player or a CD transport. That more expensive version is a transport because it has no analog outputs. Since this has RCA outs and a headphone out, it has analog outputs, it is a CD player. Um, more expensive, fancier units. And the way I would usually recommend anyone use a CD player if you decide to, is to use it as a transport where you don't want to rely on the DAC like I am doing here with these. By the way, these are CESS waterproof cables that I, I, I weave together and then like heat shrunk. Through. They're so soft. I love World's Best, but I gotta, I, I, I get bored ever quickly. So I'm just like, I want the softest, bendy, bendiest ones. So um, I've got these RCAs going into the Aoun S17 headphone amplifier. And that's a big fucking mama jama that, that's getting a review soon. And I've got the coaxial digital out going into the Aoun S9C reference DAC. And that is in subsequently also feeding the Singzer if I want to output to the Singzer or the FIO uh, SP3 speakers, which if I... So, and that's, because that's going there. So I'd have to mute, if I mute this, that shouldn't mute. Mute mutes everything? Does mute mute, the, does mute mute? Mute mute. See, once you mute, I've had another thing. If I'm like adjusting the volume, here, hold on, unmute this. If you're adjusting the volume, you can't, oh, you can control it. Can you not next track? So next track works. Play pause does, play pause, hold on. Play pause works through the, the screen being on or something else, but next track doesn't. So if you want to pause and you unpause or you adjust the volume and then you pause, that still works. But if you adjust the volume, you get into that screen and you're like, next. It only works after the screen comes out of that. It might be a livability feature that might really annoy you and you don't want to deal with it. Um, if you plug the headphone jack into the front, you no longer get the RCA out to the back. That's the way it, it switches the two. So using these, scoozy. Oh, I just fucked up. Hold on, I did a, th I did a, th I did a fucky wucky. There we go. KPH 40 is also. These will eventually be a collab headphone. They'll have my logo. I'm working on the tuning still because I changed the driver again. Driver's better now though. I, I, I can't knock them for so there's not much else to talk about except for the quality of the sound and here's the fucky real fucky wucky is I don't know number one Tegan and Sarah the CD I don't have it I've ever listened to it before I've only listened to it on this or this and I guess it sounds okay I guess I could complain about the mastering of it is a little bit harsh it's on the harsh end so you get your control the DAC output of this into this is acceptable. It's a Shandling and it's $600. The CD mechanism has to cost them like 30 bucks. Let's be honest. 
So the fact that you're getting, you're spending the money you're spending on a Shandling product, I have faith it's going to have a quality DAC. It even has a quality headphone amp, a little underpowered. Like these are pushing it a little bit, like 85 on high gain. But I put in the old trusty KPH 40s and I put on low gain and it was absolutely fine. If you just want to sit down with your old Tegan and Sarah CD and your $600 CD player and plug in your KPH 40s with the modified Dakoni pads with the holes I hole punched in with a hole punch and you want to just enjoy music, you could do that, you old man. Even I'm not there yet. Even I'm not like, you know what I miss? Discs. Physical media. Mm. Although I will say, I wish they keep putting out physical media of movies because 4K rips suck and Blu-rays are still the way to go. Um, so yeah, this is, that's it. This is, I think I've finished the review of, because the digital out is just a digital out. It just goes to this and then I can, I, I line out to this and I plug these into, into you. And there, there you go. I'm gonna lower that down. These are super fucking sensitive headphones. This sounds fine. This, here, digital to dear, and then analog to here is fine. Fine. For those of you who are still interested in running a CD for whatever reason on earth, please give me your reasons in the comments. Um, we now have to look at the very much cheaper alternative, which is this. And I kind of laughed this off when I got it because all the titty re all of the stuff has been sort of like weird or not like very, very well built, but like not thought out properly. And frankly, this is the one thing I think I approve of fully. $80 is a perfect amount to spend on a CD player in 2023. That's the year of this video, by the way, because you're seeing it in the future. And this doesn't just, well, here, let me unpause it. I think I have it paused unless it powered off. This doesn't just play a CD through the little 3.5 millimeter. This also Bluetooths out to connect to a device. The problem is you hit the button. The screen is literally that and hitting Bluetooth on it literally went searching, searching paired. I have no idea what it paired with because it's a little tiny ass screen. Um, tour of the unit. We are currently plugged in USB-C, but guess what? Bitch, we don't need that. It'll run eight hours on its internal battery. You could literally take this shopping. You could be the most badass badass ever that's ever badass. Also, can I open the... Hold on. Did it buffer? It says it's playing track three. By the way, HSU test CD. This is where I got the second CD from. Um, this came with the HSU subwoofer, and I forgot to mention in the video. This came with the v VFT15 monster sub. How is it still playing music? Um, this particular one, we're gonna we're gonna see if this is magically plays music. You have a one little grabber spot here to lift that off. I don't know what it's playing right now. Like. You know when they used to do that like 2,000 second skip shit on CD players? If you're if you're old, you remember it. And that was like, man, mine does 120 seconds of skip protection. This apparently does the entire fucking CD of skip protection because it took the CD out of it. So I guess we're back to that tre -tre 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 fucking weird quality shit. I enjoy the fact that the lid is simply a magnetically stopped giant piece of metal. And you can either get it in white and silver or black and gold if you really want to go gaudy. Um, but it's, oh, it's trying to spin the CD. It's like, ah, I don't think it should be working right now. It's been playing this song the entire time. Like, it's just like, stop. It's like, where's where's my CD? I, all right, we're, we're, I want to be nice to this thing because I actually like it. So I'm going to hit pause. I just, I just got to put it in there. Okay. So it doesn't care that the door is open or closed, which is kind of cool. I, I got to admit that that is, I, I admit that's kind of cool. 
the fact that it's like an actual almost carry aroundable. You see it's got feet. It's not really ergonomic at all. Little tiny screen says three, 555 play icon on the battery level. Our buttons are the real negative because you get your, your on off and then lock. So you can actually put this in a lock mode so that these don't work. You put it into just on without switching it to, to off. You got a little power indicator there, a little strip. There's your charge port for USB-C. This is your Bluetooth uh, enabler, which does not disable the headphones. So you can run on a headphone and output out there. So if you wanted to put this on top of your subwoofer and then output 3.5 to RCA to your sub and then Bluetooth to a set of speakers, there'd probably be a weird delay issue, but fucking hilarious. Uh, next track, last track, play pause. And then your volume buttons, which do actually control the volume of the headphone out. 32 is as high as it goes. That's as loud as it gets. This is hilarious. And it sounds good too. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm only running. All right, well, well, we'll test the limits of adhesion. Hold on. We'll take that off and we'll give this, we'll give these a little bit of a like, mm, We'll do a little, mm. We're at maximum volume now, so this should just whisper at me. Hold on. Okay, it's not whispering at me. It's actually playing louder than this did. Considering this has no high or low gain, and this has high and low gain, I think what I'm saying is I fucking love this thing. God, HSU knows how to put together a fucking compilation of music. Um, let me just... Hilarity. I mean, okay, if you're serious, if you're actually dead set, like, like no jokes anymore, if you're actually serious about using a CD player, this is a quality unit. The, the mechanisms are, are fucking good. The screen is nice. The menu options are just enough. I'd like one or two different settings on it. Uh, what was the setting I was I was hoping to find? Uh, I was hoping to find if I could have it, like, change the RCA, the thing, like if I have them run it all the time. But uh, other than that, it's like, it's a quality fucking build. Shenley doesn't make shit. Th I mean, if they came out with a reel-to-reel, -reel, it'd probably be one of the nicest reel-to-reels currently being made. This thing sort of surprised me it's kind of like you don't the fact that you could just like pick it up put it down on a table and have it still bluetooth out to a device and then just like work for eight hours i wish the buttons were more i wish they were closer together and that you could feel the difference between them because it's literally if you don't have the headphones plugged in and using it as a bluetooth source it's just a weird fucking alien spacecraft with a spinning disc inside of it that you could expose, which when this one's spinning, it kind of looks like a pizza. Um, and you can feel the magnet there, and then you feel the magnet there. I I, don't, I have nothing negative, really negative to say about this. If it was $270, I'd complain. 80 bucks for a battery powered, Bluetooth sending, decently, very decently headphone amplifying CD player that exists only because the market's like you know what we got to bring something else back these kids are getting fucking restless with all their spotify's and shit we need to bring back the pain of a scratch cd although this one works pretty fine in this and i'm pretty sure we've gotten to the point now in technology that if even in the last two decades they've improved the cd read it's going to just ignore any sort of damage um and then the, the power switch is literally an analog switch like you turn it off and it's just like they do need to, I guess that's the indicator of what side you're supposed to swing it, but I'm dumb, dumb as hell. So I don't remember that, and I keep pushing random parts of it until it moves. I would probably get an anime sticker and put it there so I know to swipe the swipe the boobies over. And it's not terribly built. Like, it's just, it's plastic on the bottom, but that's, that's legit, just giant piece of metal with a foam backing. So, I mean, I, and you can mount this on your wall. That's another thing. You could go full sharper image. Just have a little USB-C come out the top or the bottom. Actually, we did the bottom. Let me see. Yeah, I would do USB-C on the bottom and then just have it so you close this up. Have a picture of grandma on there and just mount it on your wall. 
And this way you'd have to learn just like the next track, last track buttons. So on a, on a, oh, that's a birthmark, not a piece of dirt. Mouse pad available in the description. Um, honestly, I gotta know, comments, CDs, yes, no? Do you want them to make a comeback? Do you want another audio format to make a comeback? Because frankly, I fucking do. Mini disc has always been my like, I'm pretty sure if they made like high density holographic Blu-ray ask mini discs that held, let me think, what would be the, you would have to hold a terabyte. No, it doesn't have to hold a terabyte, 250 gigs. You make a 250 gig mini disc that has all my music on it and you make, and you let Sony out of the fucking bag because they're just dying to make like these amazing like physical units that you you load the mechanism in and then the bob and the switches and the knobs. I, would, I miss that. Like Astle and Kern and all those other like DAP makers are doing interesting things with like portables. But the mini disc days, man, I was a kid and I remember mini disc. It was fucking amazing. Um, what killed the mini disc was that they didn't have a computer drive. Like they didn't try to replace the CD. It would have been so fucking badass to have like a, a three and a half millim three and a half inch mini disc drive instead of a floppy and you pop that shit in, burn all your games to it. Every disc's free rideable. Ah missed opportunity. Anyway, this is a CD review from Zeos. Wallpaper available on the wall. Her face, you see how disinter how interested she is? I'm assuming that's the audience right now, just going, uh-huh. Yeah, huh? Yeah, okay, Sh sure, sure Z. Um, yeah, I'm just go dust off my non-existent CD collection. It's a thing, this is a thing. This is a thing. I guess you're supposed to stop before you picked it up because it, it heard this go Shh. But I mean, also, look how thick this glass is. This is quality shit. Shanling, <laughs> if I couldn't ask for a better company to make a CD player than Shanling, like straight up topping SMSL, Shanling, you know it's quality. It's just, you're paying for that quality. So it also has a much easier way to get the disc out. You just, you just grab it from both sides. I'm done, you're done, we're done. If you want to keep these reviews going, and Lord knows the CD fucking review, I'm not, the affiliate money I'm going to make on selling so many of these is definitely not going to pay for lunch. But um, Patreon subscribe star support this channel. Feel free to uh, use that to see reviews early, participate in yard sales, I'd keep that one and sell this one. Participate in yard sales. Get to lossless sound demos for headphones and speakers where um, they're no longer on YouTube, so you can't access them unless you are a supporter. And then if you pay $10 a month or greater, you go to the behind the scenes private Telegram chat where you get to talk to me directly, ask me questions directly, um, and then access the Lifetime Swap Me channel. I had my brain went, uh, coffee, need more coffee. Lifetime Swap Me channel to buy, sell, and trade gear. Maybe you go on there and be like, want to buy... 5,000 CDs, and someone out there will be like, oh, I got 5,000 old CDs. You want them? Here you go. All burned copies of, you know, Man on Fire and other Tegan and Sarah. So there's that, that, that. Uh, check out the Hi-Fi Guides forums. If you want a forums, that's actually owned by DMS and I, and we have very little to do with it because we're fucking lazy, but it means it's governed by good powers that be. Hi-Fi Guides uh Forums.hi-fi guides. You can go to the Hi-Fi Guides website. It hasn't been updated in years. It's like an archive now. Um, but yeah, I'm done. You're done. We're done. Let's end this. And hopefully I don't have to do another CD review for at least a couple decades. And then we'll come back and be like, look how retro this is. It's using laser.